Hey, we back, we back, we back. What's up, guys? It's been too long. I said I want to do these like once a week, and here we are like two months later, and I, I'm sorry. I've been slacking on these, but we're here. And I got some Bullfrog SPR sweaty action for you. I got this gameplay like... I don't even know. Maybe it was like one in the morning, honestly. Just real demon hours. But hope you guys have been good. Hope 2021's been treating you better than 2020. I'm excited for new stuff coming to the game. I've been seeing some some rumors and whatnot. I don't know what is true, what's not true. I don't like to feed into it too much. Just because I like the excitement of seeing all the new things. So I try and not keep up to date with all the leaks and, and new information with Warzone and whatnot. I guess it's probably bad since this is my job and I should probably know what's going on. But I kind of like to keep myself in the dark a little bit just to, I don't know, enjoy the surprise of it. Listen, as long as there's a new map, I will be so happy. I think that would really spice the game up because we have so many guns, so many different options to use right now. That's not the problem for me. I just want some new terrain, some, some new scenery to run around in. And I think that would really do it for me. Four kills deep, cleaning up military base. Got the RPD with the Milano in my pocket. Trying to figure out where this guy was at since I did a lot of damage to him, cracked him, but he gets back further than I thought. Going for the re-challenge. This guy was slippery. I knew it too. And as soon as he did that to me, I was like, nope. Try and back off the fight. Once I do, he gets third partied, unfortunate. Get some high ground on the birthday guy. He slips away too. So now it's just kind of a uh, a stalemate. We both we both back off for a second to heal up. Unfortunately, I only have one play. Kobe with the molly. So he gets repositioned. He's healing up right now. I noticed that I have a bunch of money. So I was like, oh, let me just buy plates really quick. He come he comes back hot too. Coming in with the big D plays. He almost got me jumping out of the Bertha that quick. I didn't see the animation of him getting out. Well, I guess there really isn't much of an animation. It's just more of an instant thing, but I just hit a few more shots than he did, luckily. Get the loadout. Like I said, I'm using Bullfrog, SPR. I'm gonna throw it up on the screen right now. I always forget to do that. I'm sorry, guys. Boom, right there. I know what you're saying. It's a terrible Bullfrog build and you're correct. <laughs> At the time of making this, I didn't have the gun. I think it was like level 20, maybe. So I just threw on some attachments that I thought were good. Threw on a, a laser sight so I could hit fire people and just went to town. And since it's such a good SMG, you can you can do that. You, you have some room to work with. And now that the agency suppressor on the Cold War guns is back to its normal self, well, normal self, after that crazy uh, nerf they did to it, slap that puppy on there with some attachments that you prefer, You'll be good to go. See, like right there. It's just, I don't know how to explain it. The way the gun shoots, the recoil, the, the bullet speed. I just really like how the gun feels. Anyways, we roll up to our bounty. I'm feeling it out. I'm trying to see if he's at the very top platforms, which more than likely he is. But I, I, I get back into Bertha to try and bait him to move, which he does. I'm trying to get a little cheeky headshot right there. Doesn't work, but he does peek me from a different window. And he just kind of exposes his whole body. You know what I mean? And it just, you know, that's his downfall right there. I check my money situation. I'm like, oh shoot, I got enough for a self-res and a UAV. Let me head on over to the buy that's right here. Always pop the UAV first in case there's someone chilling around you, which there was. I stand still for a minute just to see if maybe he comes around the corner and peeks me. But he's playing pretty passive. So I thought I'd push up, use Bertha to my advantage. Get up in the back. Get some nice centering right there. He's standing by the corner still. Trying to finish it up. Bop. Hit him with a little hip fire. You're fucking. He said you're fucking. I think he was going to end the sentence with you're a nice guy. So we're going to go with that. So I teabag him a few times. Let him know. Hey, I hear you. I appreciate the, uh, the nice comment. And off we go. Right when I'm about to jump out and get my restock class, I see this guy trying to be sneaky up on top of the hill. Luckily, I have a trophy system to block the thermite. He gets the second one off, though. Right here, I just remember grinning from ear to ear because this was just so funny to me. He's trying to give me the movement. I'm trying to give him the movement. <laughs> we go back and forth for a minute. Luckily, he's got this tree right here that he can, he can dance around with me on. So I decide I'm going to jump out and then jump back in and try and throw him off and it works. He tries to cut right in front of me and 
right after we get a little visitor trying to get his loadout. I push it in front of him, but I forgot that it doesn't kill you anymore. I see the RPG immediately. I jump out. Fuck you. And what do you know? It's our guy. I, I don't think he was as friendly that time around. I think he actually meant just fuck you this time. So feels bad. Things start to get a little chaotic now because everyone just starts to migrate to this area. I'm sure it's just because of all the loadout drops that were falling in, but I catch this guy trying to trying to call one in, get the headshot, but unlucky that there was some glass right there to keep him alive. I get a grenade hit as well, so now I'm just charging up to him. Beautiful timing. I catch him in the uh, the plate animation, so that was good. So there's this guy that was just up top, killed him. Two more vehicles roll up to us as well. Throw up the UAV that I got off that guy's body. Try to do some damage on some of these vehicles. Jeep rolls up too. <laughs> now I don't even know what's going on anymore. Just trying to hold the house down the best I can. And I see this guy in the UAV. Now, I'm not sure why. I think maybe he just had really bad positioning to the point where he couldn't see me. If you could see that rail was right there from the tower, I think it might have blocked his view. So we didn't get the, I don't know if he was sniping at me or someone behind. So I just, I pop dead in. I try and rush this guy by the cars to catch him by surprise, but I get third, I get third party from behind. He gets back into Bertha. I see that it's smoking, so I try and lay some shots down on it. He tried to jump out and world star me with the snipe. So now I'm kind of... I'm kind of confused on what to do now. Cluster strikes are coming in. There's a guy in front of me. I was getting shot in the back, too. From, like, northwest. At that point, I was just trying to scare the guy away because I wanted to get out of there. Finally get over to my loadout. <laughs> 20 years later, we get the restock. Jump back into the arms of Bertha where it's safe. And now I'm just kind of scoping things out. There was it was there was all this commotion and now it's just super quiet and I'm I'm not buying it. Just kind of just using the uh the advantages of being in a vehicle and third third personing. Right here is where I get perfect timing. Get a nice little third party. I thought the guy to the right was self-resing as well. That's why I snapped to his body really quick. But we just got the one guy, which is beautiful. That's all we needed. Now, I was attempting to, to just run with the pack of the other vehicles that are going forward. And I cut off to the right. And I find this guy just crawling out in a field. Probably just hiding from all the vehicles that were coming through, which is totally understandable. But I caught him, so I wanted to fight him. I attempt to make like a little blockade so he doesn't run any further. Use the restock, get a stun down. A little drop shot action. Not much you could do right there when you're stunned. Now this Jeep comes in and I'm thinking, oh, it's sweet, another fight, right? <laughs> Box him in and everything. You ready for? Yeah, it's great. I got this guy. About to jump out. I back up just a little bit to try and get a, like a better position. Just, I set him free. There he goes, off into the sunset. I don't know what I was thinking. That was such an easy, easy kill right there. So I let him go. I get stuck. <laughs> I'm like, man, I'm just, he's just, he's gone. He's gone forever. But I drive a little bit further and realize, oh, he just drove right over here to get this bounty. Bounty disappears. I know he's top floor. Gets a little nade off. I step back so it doesn't do any damage, splash damage to me. And what a nice guy. He broke the glass for us so I could get the easy headshot. Run up the stairs really quick. Finish him up. Bada boom, bada bing. I travel over to this buy thinking it's the safest. I'm trying to blow some of this money. Got 20 grand. And this guy's just protecting it almost. Standing out in the open. <laughs> He's a little shook. He's sending some shots down at me. Open up the door, try and get the sneaky stun off. It doesn't hit. Send another one. Right there, I knew. I was like, okay, he's second floor. He already made it up. I see in the doorway, it's not closed. I get a glimpse of his gun. Try and get the uh, the Semtex stick. And then 
he thinks to himself, you know what? I'm just gonna headbutt Bertha. I mean, I kind of respect it. Kind of foolish, but maybe it worked in other games, but it didn't work this time. Throw up the advanced UAV. I'm not for sure if I'm gonna hit another buy after this, so I just start spending all of my money. Get the advanced UAV up, get a precision in case I knock somebody and I can't get to them, and I'll finish them up with the precision. Scanning the map, seeing what the the best person to uh, to go to next is. I find this guy on the very edge. I'm thinking, you know, he's got to move in a little bit. I'll try and hold him out with Bertha. And I'm thinking, you know what? He's up here? Maybe in the bush? Oh, no, he's to my left. <laughs> he's, he's in this bush. Oh, okay. Well, let me just park my Bertha right here. I hate you. You listen, we got to give it to the kid. You know he wanted to say fucker, but he said trucker. You know what? Shout out to you. It's kind of a lose-lose situation when you when you kill a kid in a video game. Because if you get killed by him, you got killed by a kid. If you kill him, you kill the kid. It's just like, it's a lose-lose. What am I supposed to do? At least he was, you know, good job, Timmy, for not, for not cussing. Now look at this COD timing. I had no idea he wrapped all the way around on me. I just randomly got back in my truck. Thank goodness I did. This was just a lucky fight. I should have died right here. 100%. But he starts to get aggressive. I pop out from behind the truck. He's still peeking when I do. Get the nice headshot. Dude, the SPR is just... I got to use it more, man. I really do. It's got this nice middle ground. And the ADS time is amazing. The bullet velocity is perfect. It's just... I gotta stop. I gotta stop sleeping on it, boys. Now I'm driving out here in the middle of nowhere, and I just see this Bertha on the boundary line, and I'm thinking, I guess people fought here. Free Bertha? No. There's a guy in the back, and he jumps back in after I jump out to shoot him. Listen, I've got a lot of Bertha experience. I've never seen that one. Like, how long was he there, just waiting for that, that perfect moment? <laughs> He almost got me too. He almost shot me through the through the back of Bertha and killed me. If I didn't jump out quick enough. We meet back up. And he blows mine up. The audacity of this guy. Then he just drives off. That's it. He just never to be seen again. He just leaves me out here. Stranded. Four enemies left. We're in it, boys. We're in the end game. I realize that I have an ammo box still, so I dropped that to get some more Semtexes. Quicker. I do have restock. And all of a sudden, I'm getting beamed. I'm thinking, this guy's probably pretty close because he's hitting a lot of shots. Air strikes me as well. So I got to move. I'm trying to just hug these trees. I find this nice little divot right here. I pop out. I get a glimpse of him right there. I realize he's way further out. So I get the sniper out. Get the two body shots. Fly off like Batman. I'm trying to lock down this tower right here. And then all of a sudden I get tagged from behind. There's a guy just chilling at the bottom of the hill. I see his, I see his glint. This was a dump. That was a dumb push. Oh, I killed another kid. I'm so sorry, Timmy. 1v1, boys. I get a glimpse of him. Center my aim. Step up from behind the rock. He tries precision, so he couldn't shoot back at that moment. Hit him with the double stun. Double Semtex. There it is. There's the victory, my dudes. It was a good game. It was a fun game. A lot of uh, some funny death com reactions, some good fights. It's it's tough right now trying to fight the uh, the FFAR AUG meta. So it was good that we got some new guns out there. Got a W with them. I hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you guys for always watching and take care. Stay rare.